So I'm making a video as to how I make a rag doll. And um, back in my day, <laughs> and for people of my economic um, existence back then, I don't know, I don't know how you would put it. Um, there were um, a lot of times when, you know, people wouldn't have the income to have like, um, be able to go out and buy Christmas presents or whatever. And so you would look through your sock drawer <laughs> or oh. I ended up going through uh, clothes and making dolls out of clothes. Sometimes yarn too. I did like to make a lot of yar yarn dolls. I'm going to do this video on how to, how I make a, um, a cloth doll, um, just a fabric type doll, because when we go to the doll show, I want to have one so that everyone can sign it and just to have and to hold from this day forward, I would love it. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. Right this now. is gonna be my thing to remember this trip by. Of course, I'm always gonna remember it anyway. But taking a doll to the doll show and having everybody there that I know or want to know or get to meet sign that doll is gonna be really, really important to me and I'll have that doll for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make this doll. <laughs> Let's start with the pattern. Okay, so basically you go through your old clothes and see what t-shirts, whatever, don't fit anymore or, or what, you know, you can use for um, for this rag doll. So, well, that's just an extra piece. What I did was I cut out, let's do this one. I cut out four pieces, what I like to call a football um, sometimes I only use three. It just kind of depends on how fat I make these pizza pieces. So, um, three or four football pieces. Um, I made four just in case I needed the fourth. And then I need two, what I call teardrop pieces. This is going to be the body. Of course, this will be the head. It's going to end up round like a head. This is going to be the body. So it's kind of a teardrop shape and you want it as big as you want your body to be or whatever. None of this is exact just because these are rags and pieces that you have. And sometimes you might have half of this and then half of a different um, uh, material because that's what we did. We took little rags and patches and things that we had and put them together. So this is gonna be the body. And then I cut out, um, let's see which ones are here, here we go. I cut out two feet, two legs and feet to go with it. And that's, you know, just easy to do. You just take a piece of fabric and um, like this, fold it in half and just cut out a straight piece and around like a foot. You know, it's just like a cartoon leg and foot basically. Now on the bottom of those, we're gonna sew a round piece um, to make it be round, you know, be full and not just flat. So you'll need to go around it and kind of make two round pieces so that it'll go at the bottom of the foot. Just trust me on that. So two round pieces, two feet pieces. And then we need to do the arms and hands, which really for that, I didn't do much of a hand type situation. I just did more like long round, you know, arms with little rounded ends. You can do more of a hand or a mitten or whatever if you want. Um, I was kind of going basic with this, so I just did these two. And they're just like tubes with a round bottom to them. And then I did um, two long pieces so you can sew them and make this more round. So it's a long teardrop piece that's the same length and then a round piece. So two of these, two of these. Okay, so let me show you all of that together. I am skipping showing you guys how I sewed well, it all together it all, only because so my iCloud won't give me here. the footage. But here's and yes, what I got after I sewed it and, and stuffed it. Um, because none of this is perfect. It's just what you dream up. And this was the football shape that I dreamed up. We're going to work with that and make a face, but for right now, we did the stuffing. We stuffed the body, so you just kind of look at it and see how it's going to go and where you want it to be, because there's no rules here, right? In fact, the body could go this way with a big belly, 
or could go this way. And you could even shrink this up. You could make a stitch up the side and make a little tail for your, your doll, depending, whatever you want. And same thing with the feet. They can go out the side, they can go on the bottom, however you like that to go. If you wanted to make a stuffed uh, cat or dog or a uh, bear or whatever, you would just add some ears and a poofy little tail or whatever kind of tail and that's it. Now you have a bear or a cat or a dog or whatever. So yeah, it's just one of those things. So I'm going to take this and a couple of eyes and I do like two different color eyes just because I like the idea of a sock doll. So I'm going to take two buttons for eyes. I'm going to put all this together and do a little stitching for fun, just fun stitching. It's already stitched, you know, each little piece, but I'm going to not only stitch it together, but make some fancy stitches too, just to make it look a little, I don't know, homemade and fun, you know. And then, of course, you can add yarn for hair or um, take your clothes and, and shred them to make, um, you know, your, your rags or whatever, shred them and, and sew them on as like hair. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what she looks like when she's all assembled. And so here she is. I've got her all put together. I used two different color buttons. I did have two white ones and two of these other ones, but I just like the look of two separate colors. And I glued a little fabric with some fabric glue on there for the mouth. I also hot glued a bunch of yarn in for the hair. And, uh, and then I sewed the limbs on, but if you're not into sewing the limbs on, you can always hot glue that too. I also put a seam right down the center that's a big black seam. And I do that because I really like the look of a rag doll. So um, yeah, th this is the first doll that I've done and I really like her. All she needs now is some shoes. She's got her little dress on and she's already signed yay so she can be signed everywhere else yay sorry about the missing footage of me sewing the different pieces um but i did just use an in and out stitch um just to get them together and um attaching the head to the body i did hot glue a little and then sew the rest of it use buttons for the eyes, and that's about it. It's a pretty easy process, and most of the things you usually already have.